Hi, I'm Becky Joy. I'm in my studio today. I'm going to stretch a canvas and show you how to, how to do that. And the tools that I have here are some canvas stretcher pliers, um, scissors, of course, because I had a roll of canvas. I cut the canvas approximately two inches around um, the frame of the stretcher bars, two extra inches, and a stapler, staples, and of course scissors because I cut the canvas with that. So anyway, I've got the canvas here ready to go and I'm going to stretch this. I put the, together the stretcher bars beforehand and took a um, square and I like to glue the edges uh, or in between uh, the stretcher bars so that it stays together. Some people put on the back side a little staple just to make sure that it doesn't um, um, skew. So anyway, let's uh, get started here. I'll turn my canvas over to the back side. I'll lay this stretcher bar frame here in the middle. And I'll start out by placing, putting a staple in the middle of each uh, each stretcher bar. Now I will stretch my, I usually work on the floor this, with this, I find this a lot easier. And I'm going to stretch this so that it's nice and tight here. Hold this just to get that staple in. So I've got across each side there. Now the other, the lengthwise here. And it doesn't really matter which direction you go. You just want to make sure each of the four sides that you have your canvas stretched taut in the middle and that, that it's pretty even. There's not pulling across or anything. That This whole thing is like an X here. That it's nice and even. And then I usually start on my longer sides and I will start stretching this and if I'm now I'm I'm stapling this along the back sometimes I'll staple along here but I've got plenty of canvas to work with and um, when I staple along the edge it's a little easier for me to keep pulling on this and as I'm pulling it then I will staple the edge here um, this is a little bit away from the board, so it's a little difficult for me to do. I could lay it down here on the floor and staple it that way if I want. Now, I don't want to get all my staples across one side. I will work back and forth and just hammer those in a little bit. Now I've got four staples across here. I'm going to go on to the opposite side and start stapling that. It's a little bit awkward with the camera trying to turn this at the right angle here for you to see. Staples fairly evenly spaced, an inch or so, inch and a half between each one. Stretch here again. I can't get it to that angle, so I'm just going to keep it holding it tight. And once I've stretched it, and just maybe put one more staple in this side. Turn it over. And the last side here. See, that was about an inch apart. Okay. So it all goes in there. Now, like I said, I could lay this down. You might find that a little easier to do. 
I will stretch it. I like to try, especially on a larger canvas, um, keep the pliers in one hand and the stapler in another. But I'm finding it a little difficult with the camera angle to do this so that you can see it. Now I'll switch again, go to the opposite side. Here I have almost all of it done. And I just kind of got to catch up to the same distance here on this other, other one. Other side. And I've had electric stapler, but I had trouble. I got tired of going through two of them in my little hand one here that's been lasting much longer and really just about as easy. switch it so that I'm going the opposite side again. Now, I'm getting to a corner here. So I've got my corner, and what I will do is miter the edge here. There. Now I'm going to pull that tight again. Let me show you here how I've got this. See, this side's smooth, and it really doesn't matter. I just try to. have it so that it's tucked underneath there. And some people miter that a little bit differently too. Put a little bit on each side rather than all on one side. But I find it's easy to do this this way. And then I just put an extra staple in there to hold that down nice. I've seen people take and miter it like this and you know bring bring your corner into the center. Now fold each end. And I just find that a little bit awkward. And easier to do one side and I just kind of try to have it go the same direction so it's kind of even all the way around. And there's my mitered edge here. Stretch that canvas. A couple staples in. And you have to miter that edge before you get all the staples in one side or else you have no place to tuck that extra canvas in. So I just wait until I've got maybe one to two staples left to do on each of the sides. I even used my canvas pliers one time to uh, upholster a chair. 
took it all apart to see how it was constructed. I'd never done any upholstering before, but made the pattern off the old one and took notes when I took it apart and redid the whole thing. So anyway, got a nice top canvas and the back sides nice and even. Um, you know, if you want to trim it up a little bit um, more even, sometimes I'll take a razor blade and get a nice clean edge. But anyway, that's really nice. And I, and I just prefer myself not having the staples on the side. And this gives me a little extra canvas to work with if there was a problem that I needed to restretch it or something rather than having it right on the very edge and there's nothing left to work with. And once in a while, if the, the staples aren't in real firm, uh, you'll have problem with, you know, the kind of button up on to the frame. But with done this way, I know that I'll have no problems. So, anyway, that's how I do my canvas.